here we are today at the uh, near the downtown Bernalillo, uh, New Mexico Railroader Station. We're going to be shooting video of the Amtrak 4, the Southwest Chief. Today it's got Amtrak 184 on it, which is the Phase 4 Heritage Unit. So we're looking forward to seeing that. But also, we're here to uh, give a demonstration of this new tripod that I just got. I also have a new camera, but it's exactly like the ones I've been using, so now I've got three, but that's a different story. So uh, let's take a look at some of the features of this new tripod before the train comes. So here's a new camera, and it's basically just the same. Uh, uh, that's the Rosario train that went up here a little bit earlier. Um, so anyway, this is basically the same Panasonic 4K camcorder that I've been using. Um, now I've got three of them, so that's going to be some kind of fun and some kind of interesting stuff. So anyway, this tripod is a new tripod for me because the other one had some issues with one of the legs, so I just got a new tripod. Um, it is a King Joy VT-1500. Um, it was recommended on uh, a YouTube channel that I watch frequently. Um, by Drone Valley and they recommended it. He says it's a great tripod and uh, this is actually the first time I've used it so I don't have that much to say about it yet. But uh, it's pretty nice. It's made out of heavy-duty plastic. It's lightweight. It weighs about four pounds. It's got these... Um... Hang on, we'll wait for the uh, Amtrak to give up its track warrants at Han. Okay, so he's about 10 minutes out. So anyway, it's got these nice clamps on it, um, which uh, are better than the ones that I had on the um, carbon fiber tripod. Um, I don't think the legs are going to fall off this time. It's also got a um, center um, support, which you can clamp down and tighten. Obviously, the center post goes up and down. Now, the thing I liked about this one is that it's got a fluid head, so what I'm going to do today is do some panning. And um, it's pretty smooth. You can tighten it up. You can use the adjustment uh, here to increase or decrease the tension, both in pan and tilt mode. And then you can also tighten it here with these two um, screws. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I don't pan much because I think it's, there's so many potential problems with it that it can really screw up your video. Uh, I need to plug in the mic here. And I'll turn the mic on. That's how I've got it set up. Um, got this nice dead cat, but you got to be careful about this because sometimes these little hairs get in front of the lens and then you got issues. Um, what else? <clears throat> Goes up and down. It's real smooth. The most important thing about the uh, using the tripod in, and panning with it is you got to make sure that it's level. So I've leveled it out. Otherwise, as you pan from one side to the other, it's going to make it look like the train is going up or down a grade and it's just going to kind of ruin your video. So, looking forward to that. I've also got the camera leveled. It's got a little um, leveling device or leveling icon. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's right here. You can probably not see that, but that's okay. Anyway, the camera is also level, as is the tripod. So, Without further ado, I will put this camera back on this tripod and we can watch me pan as the train goes by.